we're back with another WhatsApp bot video, and this time we've got something exciting to share. We've just released a new version of our multimodal WhatsApp bot template, and it makes things a lot easier on the Billship side. If you're unfamiliar with our existing multimodal WhatsApp bot template, here's a quick rundown. With this bot, you can send three types of messages, regular text, voice messages, can you give me one trending news from today? And lastly, images for Q&A. And since the first release, we've gotten a lot of feedback about the setup being a bit too involved on the billship side, so we've made an improvement. The new version uses an updated WhatsApp bot trigger that removes the need for two separate flows making setup much simpler and quicker. And just to be clear, if you already have the original multimodal bot running in production, nothing will break. This update is released as a separate template. So the old one is still available in the templates library. Now for some context, here's the original multimodal WhatsApp bot template. And you'll notice it includes two flows, one for the bot logic and a separate verification flow that's only used during the initial setup to connect Billship with Meta so you can start receiving messages. Now let's jump over to the Billship templates library and search for the new multimodal WhatsApp bot. And the one we're looking for here is the V2 multimodal WhatsApp bot. We'll clone this into our project. And as you can see, this time there's just one single bot flow. Much simpler, right? Now the real difference stems from the updated WhatsApp bot trigger. We've added a new input for the verification token, which means the flow can now both verify with Meta and subscribe to new messages, all in one place without needing an additional flow. Now let's set up our flow so you can see how the process has changed. But just a heads up, we'll be going through the bot flow setup at a high level. So if you're looking for a step-by-step -step breakdown of how the entire flow works, make sure to check out our full tutorial on the multimodal WhatsApp bot. You'll find the link to that full video in the description below. To get started, let's fill in the app ID and app secret. In the meta dashboard, you can go to app settings and then basic. And here you'll find your app ID and secret. Just copy these over to Billship. The next thing you'll need to enter here is the verification token. By default, we have it set to Billship, but you can change it to any piece of text you want. And now you can just connect the trigger. We're also going to ship the workflow. Let's copy the workflow endpoint URL. And I already have a webhook configured. So I'm just going to remove this and let's add a new one. I'm going to paste the flow URL that I just copied. And then remember, we had the verify token set to Billship. And now we can click verify and save. If you didn't receive any error messages, then that means that your Billship workflow is now authorized and ready to start receiving events from Meta. Now we only care about one type of event and that's new messages. We're going to toggle this from unsubscribe to subscribed. And we're good to go. Now we can go back to Billship and start configuring the nodes in our flow. We can switch back to the build tab. I'm just going to maximize this here. When our bot receives a new message, we're going to extract the message. And then what we want to do is check what type of message we're receiving. So currently our bot is capable of handling text messages, image messages, and audio messages. In the event that we receive a message that we're not accounting for, we're simply going to reply back with an unsupported message. Now this is an AI powered bot after all, and this means that we have a number of AI integrations that we're using to generate replies. To see that in action, let's look at the case when we receive a text message. Our bot is capable of receiving text messages, but those text messages can also be an attempt to generate images. So we're using the open AI JSON generator node to classify the type of text message that we're receiving. So we're adding this is image gen prompt boolean field, which will be true if the prompt or message we're receiving is an image gen prompt 
and it will be false if it's just a regular text message. So if it is a image gen prompt, then we want to use the OpenAI image generator node to generate an image. Then we're going to upload that to our Bullshit storage and we're going to reply back with the uploaded file. And then our WhatsApp bot is going to reply back with the generated image. To respond back, we're using the autoresponder node. In order for you to use this node, you're going to need to set up a permanent token on the meta platform. To get a permanent token set up, you can look at the documentation linked in the description of the video. Let's look at the case where we receive a regular text message. In that case, we're going to plug in a perplexity AI search node here. And this will make it so that our bot has access to the latest information across the web. Once it generates a reply, we're going to send that back to the sender. Let's scroll back up to our flow. And what happens when we send a image? So the first thing we're going to do is download that image media. We're going to pass it along to the GBT vision node where we can ask any question we want about the image, or maybe we just want a description about the image. We're going to get a response back and then we're going to reply back to the user with that response. Our final mode of message that we are handling here is an audio or voice message. In that case, we're also going to download the media and ultimately we're going to want to send this to the Whisper text to speech API from OpenAI, but they support MP3 format. So before that, we need to convert the downloaded media to MP3. And now we can pass that along to our Whisper speech to text node. This will extract the transcription from the voice message we sent. And then we're going to pass that along to our perplexity AI search node again. Our AI will generate a response. And then finally, we'll use the familiar autoresponder node to send back a reply to the sender. And that's a high level overview of how this multimodal WhatsApp bot flow works. As you go through and set up this flow in your own project, you're going to want to make sure that you don't forget to specify any API keys, otherwise your bot won't be able to generate any replies for you. We're ready to put the WhatsApp bot to test, but before we can do that, let's not forget to ship our flow. Now to test our bot, I'll send a voice message. Hey, can you give me one positive news from today? Great, we're getting back our AI generated response. Now let's see if we can generate an image. And here's our cute cat floating in space. And that's it for this video. Give the new template a try today and let us know what you think. And hey, if you end up building something cool with it, don't forget to share your WhatsApp bots with us. As always, your feedback really helps us improve Billship and the templates we create for you. So drop your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, happy building, and happy Billshipping.